Hello YouTube, I just thought I show you my OLED ESP cubes still attached to each other before I break them off from my customer. And uh, I stumbled on a new code uh, from the company ESPERT. If they're called like that or pronounced like that, I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, here you have a Pac-Man game demo, here you have a Flappy Bird game demo and here you have a currency ticker, exchange ticker. Uh, well, it's actually not much a ticker, it's just a display because it changes only once a day. And this one comes from... Uh, which API? Let me just a second from the fixer API which is on github and they only change this once every 24 hours so too bad it's not at least once an hour but anyhow uh, you can see the different examples now and how also a display could be made like this vertical instead of horizontal uh, I do it I solder them or reflow them actually vertical because then I can do the buttons easily without interfering with each other. So after this video I just will break up the boards and uh, use my high tech uh, sanding paper to smooth out the edges and then it's ready to go to the customer. So anyhow, uh, on this one you can see the OLED display is already, <coughs> excuse me, already screwed down. This one has only two screws and this one has no screws because I'm going to exchange this one for the yellow-blue the customer wanted. These are only plugged in, so if you buy the OLED ESP for example, you can easily exchange the displays for another color. And if you upload the different code you can also use the bigger ones like this guy in the back here this is also all the DSP but with the 1.3 inch display so anyhow this was just a small video short video so I can show the different uh, codes if anybody has this game running I don't know the pinout for the switches uh, please share share it with me. I might make a PCB just for that. I kind of like Pac-Man. I never played it when I was a kid, but always liked it. And maybe now I can play it. It seems quite nice. Uh, displays rise, and of course this is pretty small on the video, but. Once you hold it in your hand, it's not that small and you can also use it with the 1.3 inch display, I'm sure. So it will be much better and also don't mind the two color display here because the customer requested yellow blue as the display and I didn't change them out just for the code. I did it on this one. Anyhow, here you see the currency. It's based on euros. And then you have a uh, US dollar, which 1.23, and BGN is for Bulgarian money. It's one euro is 1.96 Bulgarian money, Bulgarian level. And then I have Hong Kong dollars, it's uh, 965, and I have Turkish lira, it's 466. I could of course change those out if you do like that code with the OLED DSP. Anyhow, thanks for watching and take care.